what men think to be doing for evil, God is using for good. I was talking to an Egyptian brother recently. He said there are more Muslims turning to Christ in Egypt today than any time in history. And when the Egyptian Christian goes out in the morning to the market, he doesn't know if he's going to get home safely or not. But people can see in the Christian something that they can't find anywhere else. And they say, I want what you've got. Right? If you're able to say, yeah, I, I know what's going on in the world. I'm not naive. I, I know what's happening. But I've seen enough of God's working in history that I know that God's not losing. God's winning. There's another whole battle going on here that you never hear on the evening news. No one ever tells you, none of the talking heads ever come on the evening news and tell you how many people got saved today. The devil's not winning. The devil's losing. The Lord Jesus said, I'm going to gloriously triumph. The gates of hell shall not prevail. And the devil's he makes a lot of noise, but Jesus just keeps on working. And I want to tell you something, he's going to win. We're on the winning side. <laughs> And, and, you know, you look at this and, and you stand back and you say, well, that brings a lot of peace to my heart. That, that's so encouraging to me to realize that the God who reigns over everything is right on schedule and he knows what he's doing. The Lord reigns. He's on his throne. That ought to be a message we're preaching to people, right? We ought to be telling people this. That there's no reason. Let not your heart be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. You know, they, they use this phrase on, on Fox News. And then they tell you all the reasons to be troubled. <laughs> but they never tell you the reason not to be troubled. This is the hope which we preach. And Paul says it's fruitful. It brings forth fruit when you preach like that. And when you live like that. And when people walk up to you in the shopping center and say, what is with you? How can you live like this? How can you be so happy? It's because our hope is secure in God.